we come to another point. We come to the point of extending the knowledge in the field of plasma. In so many ways, in so many acts, we have to realize how we extend the knowledge. I have got to the point that I cannot keep the different parts of the knowledge of the plasma technology away from each other. All the roads are leading to Rome. All the knowledge of the plasma technology is coming in. And they all come to understand is very much like the center of the universe. The center of the universe radiates fields out, it creates galaxies, it creates stars, it creates planets, it creates being. And if you look inside the being, is the reflection of the center of the universe. The process of the interaction of the plasma. The process of extension of the knowledge of the plasma technology. Let us look in a very deep way, because we have achieved energy production. You will see it in the coming days. We have, and we are going into the process of creation of physical space boundary, what we call the spaceship. In the coming days, you will see these as well. As you know, I don't keep my secret, but I keep everything together. The longest secret I've kept was the story with Dirk, because it had to be done, and it was done. The whole process, the whole structure, the whole setting up of a plasma is the same in every essence, in one scale to another. You make as what I call a galaxy, you will see it. I make parallels and then I go down with teaching. Because this is what you will understand the process is. If you look at the galaxy as a center, I draw half of it because it's easier to do. The radiation from it as a gravitational magnetic field radiation, not as a radiation as we call it, like extra gamma ray, leads to a creation of tangibility of the universe. Change the center of this to the name of the sun, it leads to creation of the plasma of the solar system. Change the name of the center of the universe to the plasma of the electron or a proton. At a point of the boundary of the interaction of the balance field, you see the tangibility. So if you understand this, this applies in reverse too, or in where you stand in the center of the universe. Look at the structure of the head of a man. This is your head. This is your brain. And in the center of the brain, you have your soul. There is no difference. For man up to now, the biggest problem was how to and where is his soul. Somewhere exist. There is no difference in the realm of the creation. Body of the man, structure of the universe. You need a center which radiates fields out, and in that radiation, it creates at the point of the boundary the manifestation of the physicality and the body. Now, extend the knowledge in a deeper way. Extend the knowledge in a very, very deep way, and you understand a very simple case. You create the same center and allow it fields and give it a strength. You have your spaceship. You want to circle it, you have a spaceship there. 
but through test and trials, it has been shown the half circle, what we call, you call it, the UFO shape is the most stable for change of the polarity of the reactor. You see the sun changes its polarity every 11 and a half years, and it goes back every 23 years. We see Earth, due to its multiplicity of the materials, does the same thing every few million years. The only way you can stop the rotation, one of the only ways, is to move it to a position that the change does not come into operation. This we understood early on, one of the first reactors we built, that by half circling, you achieve, it's okay, I'll bring it in. You can achieve the stability of the structure and the plasma in rotation. This is the, one of the very, very first reactors built in 2005, 2006. If you look at the new reactors we built, this is what we understand. If you work with a single core, this is what you have to have. If you work with a multiple core, you can go in a way putting brakes on rotation, which is the star formation. Secondly, <coughs> when you go half, you have less magnetic field resistance push. So that's why we go for the structure. Controlling a single reactor is very difficult, unless you are master in it. If you look at it, you have to understand the way the structure of the brain is. When you have field moving and you cannot split correct it, you can build things with it if you want to split it. But if you keep it split, you can control the whole side of it. Our brain, the structure of the brain, gives us a lot of intelligence in respect to how to build reactors. Now, we are at the stage